looking at it. Got him. <laughs> All right, what is happening, fishing friends? Welcome to another episode. Yes, it is that time of year here in Iowa. The corn is drying up. Farmers are starting to take it out. Leaves are jumping off the trees like a bachelor party doing a skydiving excursion. But me, well, I'm just out here fishing. There it is, the first thing to draw. Little 2.8 inch Kitek on a little Matt Allen swim jig head. And there he is, my goodness. Debo, how do you do it? Every time we watch, you manage to catch enormous fish. Well, I know that guy's little, but he told me something. He did not want that little swim bait moving. As soon as I killed it by him, he looked at it, gave it just a second and slurped it. Um, as it moved by him, he had no interest the first time. So I threw it out again, gave it a little pause on the bottom action and he nabbed it. See if we can get anything to bite moving. I may need to switch over to a little jig, try to finesse him into biting. Got him. Yes, all right, flipping the wood up shallow. All right, second fish of the day, made a move, just throwing the jig, trying to go slow. Target some of these fish up shallow. There we go, nothing big, little pounder, but hey, at least we broke that streak a little bit here. Gotta have some respect for this little guy. Oh, look at him, he's all sorts of lively still. There he goes. All right, switched over to flipping some of the wood. I was trying to get a little swim bait bite going. Nothing was happening, so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna make a move. I know there's some wood over here with a bunch of rocks. So anytime you can find two pieces of cover like that kind of come together, wood plus the rock, oh yeah. Usually, you can have a recipe for some success fishing up shallow like this. And what did that first little guy tell us? Well, he didn't want that little swim bait moving as soon as I killed it, he wanted it. Of course, with it being fall, time to slow down, fish a little bit slower, try to pick some of this apart, see if I can find any fish up in here, trying to fish in between these logs where it meets up with these rocks and such, and see if we can find anything else. So, found one little guy over there. There we go. All right, little rock pile over there. Felt her take it. Nothing too crazy. That's another one. That's another one up shallow, just doing a little junk fishing. Throwing the old jig. Man, the key has been, oh, look at that. Has this thing been eaten? Goodness. The key has been slowing, slowing down. These fish are cold. Water's cold. I think the water's only like 48 here. So slowing down with the jig, just trying to attack anything that's hard, hard bottom or wood. Let this girl go. Second one on the jig, we're making a little bit happen over here. All right, let's make a move. Let's hit that one last rocky point. So far, we've been hitting them off rock and a couple pieces of wood, and I know there's both of that over there. So like, that's why I switched to a little quarter ounce jig with just a little beaver trailer, no movement to it. You don't want a whole bunch of crazy flapping action looking all insane trailer on it. You just want it to be nice and natural. Hopefully we can come out here, catch a couple more fish before we leave. Oh my goodness. Something big just swirled here. What was that? Got it. Oh, nothing big. <laughs> yes. The jig, the jig slowly hopping the jig on these rocks has been the deal. No big ones yet, but you never know. You never know when there's gonna be a big one hiding among all these little fellas. And this is just hitting this little rock drop off edge. So there's another one hitting these rocks, hitting these pieces of wood, just throwing a little green pumpkin jig, very natural looking. I'm even going faster than I should be, but I'm just trying to hit these high percentage spots. Per did I say percentage? Percentage spots before I leave. Cause I literally should have left probably like 10 minutes ago, but you know, last cast apnea. I don't know what I'm doing. I was just last casting, honey. Sorry, it lasted for about 55 minutes. All right, let's keep going. As I go here, I'm just going to 
cover this just off this drop off edge. It's only like a maybe a three foot drop off off these rocks, but that's all these fish need to get off into something. There's one. Got him. Just like I was saying, that's all these fish need. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Another one. All right. Another one on the jig. That little finesse jig is killing it. Absolutely killing it. I talked to another couple gentlemen. They said they hadn't caught a single thing yet. So man, he smoked it. Look at that. He wanted that thing. Okay, so they're all just hiding right off this drop-off. I need to get a good diagram to show you guys what I'm talking about. Fishing drop-offs like this. I did it with the swim jig. That guy choked it. Another little guy. Another just little pounder, but just junk fishing out here. Hitting these rocks. Trying these high percentage areas. Right at the bottom of that hill is where these fish are at. I need to get a good diagram and show you all. And I think I have something in mind that I'm going to do here pretty soon. So I think that will help a lot of you out. Is that a fish? Nope. A little rock I was coming over, but I think I have something in mind that will help all of you out a lot to figure out what I'm talking about, showing you on these little drop offs and these little where it meets with the flat, all that kind of stuff. So, hopefully, I can do that here soon, and that helps you out a ton. Just a little rock drop off that's all I'm hitting right over here. Nothing insanely crazy, but we don't need anything insanely crazy to catch some fish. Don't need a bunch of crazy expensive equipment to come out and have fun. Now don't get me wrong, that stuff would sure help. I would love to have a bass boat with some nice electronics, but as you can see, oh, missed him. Grabbed it. As you can see, we're still out here catching fish. I'm just fishing from the bank with one simple rod and reel, a jig, and that's been the only thing that's working, so I didn't bring anything else. Brought this out, hope to crawl it around and catch a couple more. We better get up here to this point. I see a boat coming through. Don't know if this gentleman's gonna be fishing this point or not, but. I want to fish it, so we're going. Look at that. The joy's living in Iowa. Comment below if you know what kind of track that is. Huh? Right next to the water's edge. Oh, yes, there's another one. All right, just right here on this rock edge. Man, you know who I wish I had out here with me it was Randizzle. Randizzle, where are you at, brother? You're the one that's good at catching these. Randizzle is the king of fishing the jig off these little drop-offs like this. I guarantee he would be absolutely slaughtering me out here on it. This is what they're wanting, this little finesse jig. They must be eating a bunch of crawfish out here. That's another one. Okay, so they're all about the same size, a bunch of these little pounders, but I will take it. It is a fun day. I haven't been able to fish really, so... Whoa! There he goes. I'll take those little fellas any day. What's the time? I gotta go. I should have already been gone, but I'm catching fish. That's right, we'll just have to delay where we're going. Let's go up here on this little point. Throw another cast out over here. See if we can find anything else up out here on this little drop off on these rocks. A couple more bass over here would be awesome. I'd be happier than a gopher in a dirt pile. We'll see if we can find a couple. So far, this has been the deal. Little jig, finesse jig, little quarter ounce finesse jig. There it is, another one. Oh, that's a better one. That's a better one. That's a better one. All right, there we go. Little two pounder finally, best one we've caught over here. There you go, no fancy, no fancy boat. Nothing crazy, oh no, poor fella. Look what's down there. Mm, that's not good. I'm sure that has a hook on it. We'll see. We'll see if we can do some surgery on this guy and get it free. Otherwise, I fear that he's not going to be making it. This is why I stress. Strong lines, big hooks. That way you don't put up with this junk. <gasps> okay, well I can't tell. How many times have you all done that? <laughs> There's no hook on there. I don't see anything too crazy. I think you just took it and ate it. How about that? We just saved that little guy. Pulled a brand new stinko out of him. <laughs> well, well, that's a, a first for me. Good little chunky there, two pound bass, and uh, got a stinko out of him. All right, well, hopefully we saved that guy. Hopefully there's not a hook in there. We'll let him go. All right, little fish, get out after it. 
hopefully you live to fight another day. Off he goes. Well, let me know. Comment below if that's ever happened to you. You ever pulled a stick bit out of a fish like that that's not yours? Pretty crazy. I'll take a couple more on the jig. Man, I wish Randizzle was out here with me today. He is the king of throwing the jig like this on rocks. I guarantee he would be absolutely kicking my teeth in doing this. Oh, dear boy, I'm up to 55. How many do you have? Oh, uh, I don't know, four. Again, right where that drop-off is. Nothing special that we're doing here. This is just typical, you know, kind of fishing jetty fishing. Slowing down on the rocks, especially now with it being this cold, slowing way down and just dragging that jig. Got a little football head jig here. This comes through the, the rock cover very, very well. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I felt the vibration on my phone. That's probably the boss. Nope, not the boss. Okay, we're safe for now. Another thing is to, when you come down these fishing jetties and you come by and throw your bait one way, make multiple angles on these jetties because sometimes when you come at a different angle that'll trigger that fish to bite that's all we're trying to do here is make the most of what we got see some little bluegill over here hiding in the rocks that might be what they're chasing up in here too this has just a little bit of um, neon you know green on it to look like a little bluegill that's all i'm throwing just a little finesse jig this happens to be a, a football jig I'm trying to imitate a bluegill or craw whatever it is they're out here eating but Phone's blowing up now.